We've seen several water emergencies here in the Triangle and throughout the state this summer, and preparing for a crisis means a lot of training. As CBS 17's Mariah Ellis reports, preparing for an emergency means always staying ready. Rolling out the equipment and setting up the gear. Alan Fredrickson, a diver with the Youngsville Rescue Dive Team, is focused on the task. You know, we come out on these on these jobs trying to um, complete the work uh, so that we can give those family members closure. Fredrickson and the other divers are working in heavy gear, trying to stay cool, all while collaborating with multiple agencies at Lake Royale during a recovery operation. They're searching for a missing man and a possible weapon. A lot of times it's uh, blackout conditions, can't really see, but you know, six to 12 inches in front of your face. Um, so everything you're doing is by touch and feel. These responders are training, but Fredrickson and the others don't know that yet. We want to get their raw, real reactions on how they would respond to this incident. There's 6,000 plus residents in this lake, and they need to know that their department's prepared. They also need to know that we have the resources available to help them in an emergency. Lake Royale Chief of Police Jedediah Clark says his officers patrol this lake throughout the week, but he says this marks the first time their agency has engaged in this type of unique training. It's important for agencies to be able to communicate between each other to understand how each agency works. We've had calls at Falls Lake, you've seen drownings at Jordan Lake. Dive Captain Josh Skolnick tells me his team is just one of a few in this region that can operate and dive at night. Recently, the group helped recover a missing man at Falls Lake in July. We grow where we're needed. Yes, we're Franklin County's dive team, but we're not held to the boundaries of the county here. And the, the goal is at the end of the day, you know, if it's a rescue, get that person home to their loved ones. And if it's not, same thing. I mean, it's to provide closure to the family. In Franklin County, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. And one more note, all of the members of the Youngsville uh, rescue dive team are volunteers. They train once a month.